recorded live from the John Puccino studio inside of High Tech High School in Secaucus, New Jersey. It's the broadcasting class on WIP Podcasting. Call in and join the conversation at 201-589-0321. I'm your announcer, Ella, and now your host, Naomi. Good afternoon. I'm your host, Naomi, and with me today is Jose, Jill, um, Ella, Jonathan, and (laughs) behind the glasses, we have Mia, Madison, Jazz, Chloe, Daniela, Mr. DiPiero, and Miss DGs. Um, Today's topic is CTE classes, and we are currently talking about this because it is CTE month, and if you don't know what CTE stands for, it means Career Technical Education. And here inside of High Tech High School, we ha- um, High Tech High School offers these CTE classes. So we have five majors, and in each major offers these classes. So in design and fabrication, they offer architecture, in- industrial design and animation, computer programming, and wood technology. And we also have culinary arts, um, environmental science, and sustainability. And here we are, you're currently watching one of our CTE classes, which is broadcasting, which is a part of the media and visual arts department. Um, Our department also includes things like interactive media, graphic tech, and audio and visual production. And our final um, CTE like major um, involves like the classes like dance, musical theater, and drama. And how do you guys um, feel about CTE classes? I love them. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, I think that they're definitely like, important because it gives you like a hands-on experience. Do you know what I mean? Like it's yeah. like kind of like a very career active, like you're getting like a bigger insight on like the what you can see in the future unlike other high schools. Like, you know, you're not just getting offered like the simple things like English, math, science, like it's you're getting offered like things that you would use and see in the future. Like it's like a almost like you're, you're almost like getting prepped for college because you're figuring out where you want to go in your life because you're getting offered these classes. It really gives you like the college experience of like especially like applying to high tech and like getting to pick your major and really like deciding what you want to do for like the next four years. And usually if you come to high tech, it's something that you really want to do like for your future career but like by coming here you really get to know exactly what you want to do so for example broadcasting like has made me personally realize that like this is something I would want to go into for my future career just getting to do podcasts every day and just getting a lot of experience from it you know I'd say that uh this CTE class especially broadcasting here with our teacher and instructor Mr. Pierre, I think it's been an incredible step in my career because it sets us up for the rest of our life, essentially. Like, you know, this is something that I fell in love with at a young age. When I was applying for high schools, I had an option between high tech and another school that offered more of a science-based background. You have normal high schools that obviously, you know, you get the regular history, math, uh, English, you know, you get to learn in those topics. When in high tech, not only are you learning those topics, but you're also learning a whole career that you could really work on your entire life. And it sets you up for essentially, like I said at the beginning, your entire life. It's I think it's a gift. I think it's beautiful. And I think it, it's going to help a lot of students that come here and really find out what they want to do for the rest of their lives. Yeah, like another thing that I actually like about these CTE classes is that um, when you take them in high school, well, at high tech more specifically, like these CTE classes, they help you uh, figure out um, what you're good at, what um uh, what you could learn to get better at in like the classes that you'll actually like and find a career that you could pursue pursue in that falls into those categories of those classes that you decide to take like broadcasting ever since I've taken it. I've, I've started to feel like uh, this is something that I'll I'll actually want to pursue as I get older. And uh, this really wasn't what I was aiming for at high tech, but I like where it's going now. Yeah. And I mean, like, even like ever since you were like little kids, you've been asked the exact same question. What do you want to be when you grow up? And Mm -hmm. that's the one thing that you're thinking about your entire life. And I feel like CTE classes offer like a better insight of where you want to go, because it's a big decision. Like that's the biggest decision that you can make in your life. And CTE classes offer that. And like we've not only have we taken one, but we've taken four. And Jill here, she's taken multiple because she's a double major taking um, part in performing and media and visual arts with dance and broadcasting, right? So how do you feel about that? 
Um, so when I first entered high tech, I auditioned for dance. And when I was like, how was it, 13? When I was 13, like I was really like involved in the dance like industry. And so I was like, oh, maybe I can go like somewhere for dance. Um, not only for like, like more for college I was leaning towards, but then I found high tech and I was like, oh, they have like a performing arts academy specifically with dance and I was like oh maybe I can go here and I ended up going here obviously and I ended up loving like dance even more and our curriculum is like really different from what I was learning outside of school when it came to dance and then uh, since I'm a senior I'm able to double major and with broadcasting I didn't really know about the major when I first got here and then I met a couple people along the way from like freshman year up till now um that are in broadcasting and they like always told me about it and i was like hmm maybe i can like try uh double majoring to see what like this type of uh what is it media visual arts can teach me since i'm more of a performing arts based person yeah yeah i i, I honestly like i'm so jealous you get to experience like so many cte classes as, like especially since it's your senior year mm. too and you're also figuring out where you want to go and, Ella, how do you and especially <laughs> like at a school at high tech that has so many like different majors like we said in freshman year we got to take four like categories of media visual arts and since there's also so many like i know people that maybe like tried out one thing in freshman year, but then it kind of made them realize that's not really what they want to do. And then they were able to switch into other majors. So just having so many different like categories also allows you to like, you're not just constructed to one, like you can always yeah. switch to another if you want. And like media and visual, we had four different things. So like we got to really try out every different like aspect of it. Yeah. And also like, especially because we just like got out of COVID basically and COVID has basically like locked us in our homes and like we didn't get to like experience as much of like on site things. But I feel like because like of the school that we are in, like we experienced more especially with the CTE classes because high tech figured out ways to like perform all like CTE classes um, even when you're at home like unlike other schools like pe a lot of kids didn't do anything because they just like focus on the main topics and like schools like this was very unexpected schools didn't know what to do in these kinds of situations and we were still offered like the same things to like experience like um, everything through the computer. Mm -hmm. I remember my freshman year um, obviously you know virtual COVID year right um i was i was psyched because i didn't know what i wanted to do yet i just knew i wanted to be in the media division whether it was journalism you know broadcasting filming movies i didn't graphic technology i didn't know what i wanted to do and then you know first quarter i had uh the opportunity to take graphic tech which was awesome second quarter interactive media and then third quarter i had film and then fourth broadcasting now i remember the first three we're like a breeze because, you know, there wasn't really people in school. But then when I had broadcasting for the first time, it really captivated me because I was one of the kids that wasn't hybrid. I was at home the entire time. So, you know, when you look in, because uh, the way that our teacher would have, set, have it set it up is that he'd have a camera with some of the students in here and they'd be filming the show. Then I just thought that whole semester, I was like, yo, I cannot wait for next year when I'm allowed in the school because we're going to be making some awesome videos. And, you know, that gives that inspiration gives opportunity to the future and what you could create. It, it, it fuels creativity and it just it grabs your attention and you want to conquer something. And that's what I feel like a lot of our broadcasting students here have taken advantage of these opportunities with these CTE classes to further our, you know, our college. Um, what's the word? Uh, college. You know, you know, when you apply for colleges, you have to show off your talents and, you know, just really feel like these classes serve us that. Mm -hmm. How about you, Jonathan? I mean, I I feel the same way uh, Jose thought because, like, like I said earlier, I wasn't thinking about broadcasting when I first applied to the school. I was thinking about uh, film because actually my older brother is also uh, in the film uh, field, so that's what I was thinking. Because like I also started to like the field as well when I saw his works and uh, the films that he started editing. But then when I took this class fourth quarter of my freshman year, I decided this is what I should be taking for the next couple of years that I'm going to have for, for the rest of uh, high school at high tech. And that's the reason why I'm here. Yeah. And like another great thing about having like high tech with all the 
different CTE majors is like for field trips, we get um, opportunities to go to like real workplaces that have to do with our majors. So I know we can all like talk about how recently um, us broadcasting majors, we went to um, a trip to CNBC headquarters in Englewood, um, which at our age, we would have never been able to do. And we really got um, behind the scenes of like the entertainment industry. And I know for me personally, seeing like that real life environment made me realize that like, like the dream would really to be to work in a place like that for my future career. And I feel like for all the majors, it really gives us that opportunity. Um, so if you guys want to talk about the field trip. I mean, the field trip really, really got me going. It really fueled me because, you know, when we were there, I was seeing all these people doing what I want to do. And, you know, having all these connections to these major broadcasting networks, you know, and putting up shows within the size and the time of a day. And I was just like, I feel like I'm, I waste time sometimes, you know, I procrastinate. So immediately afterwards, I, I set up a meeting with our arts director and, you know, I got I got one of our YouTube channels approved for me and my crew. And we're going to start filming episodes and try to get it approved as soon as possible by the board. And, you know, I just think it's an op it was an op opportunity that I wouldn't have visioned unless I went to this field trip and really woke up because just seeing just look at all that equipment, you know, the the, the opportunity there is amazing and it just woke me up. Uh, that's all I can speak from my side. Yeah. And also, it's just really good to see that like CTE classes are not only like teaching you and like providing you with the whole mindset of what career path you should be like taking and the different like things that are a part of one thing, because it's just like there's many things that come to like one like topic or one like career. And like not only they're they're teaching that, but they're bringing us to this experience, which is really cool to see. Like not many people get these opportunities. And with this, like CTE is also teaching us about like CNBC. And like not only are we watching it from like a TV, we're in like the headquarters of it. Yeah, that was insane because you know you, you'd be at home watching like you know shows on the daily and then you go to where it's all uploaded and published from. And it's just a uh, that's insane. I never thought I'd be able to have this opportunity. And, you know, thankfully, these CTE, uh, the CTE classes allow us to have that opportunity. Like, like you guys just reminded me. It's crazy. Um, like, you guys just reminded me that this, this is the CNBC Global Headquarters. Like, this is where they'd be streaming NBC California and Chicago and all that. And I, I just remembered that, like, I was watching the Warriors and Wizards game last night. And literally, it was on NBC. Uh, I don't know what channel it was, but, like... I just started to remember that's where everything be coming from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, But I just think that even us as students, like we are definitely really lucky to like be in high tech high school that are offering these CTE classes. Because if honestly, I'm going to be completely honest, if I didn't attend high tech high school, I feel like I would have been very lost with where I would want to go. Because I feel that like not many other schools would offer the, as much as the mm -hmm. same things here. Like in my um my hometown, mm -hmm. like they don't offer broadcasting, they don't offer industrial design. Like maybe they could offer culinary, but it's just these like how, how do you say like these really advanced classes? Like they're really hard to find within like other schools. So I think that we're really lucky to have career technical educational classes here. Yeah, like you know, you, at, at your normal high school, maybe maybe you get it as like a, an elective during after school. Like I know that, that that's like something that they do at a regular high school, but this isn't a regular high school. This is, this is a, this is a high school who gives the gifted a, a program and you just got to decide if you're going to run with it or you're going to, you know, procrastinate. And I, I'd like to say most of our students here, we definitely run with it and we have a passion for what we do. Yeah, definitely. But Anyways, we hope that you understand our thoughts and our opinions on the importance of CTE classes. And with that being said, thank you for watching and thanks to our panel. I'm your host, Naomi, and this is the Broadcasting Class on WIT Podcasting. Thanks for watching the Broadcasting Class. Tune into WIT Podcasting YouTube and Twitter pages for more infos and shows. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>